we talk to students about why they might choose UW-Milwaukee as opposed to any other College of Nursing around the state, um, we speak to both the campus vibrant uh, activities and the community. It's a wonderful place to be. We have an Institute of Urban Health Partnerships, and within this institute we have two nurse managed health centers that have been providing wellness services and primary care services to the inner city Milwaukee for nearly three decades. At the College of Nursing, UWM, uh, what is very unique is that um, we utilize the model of interprofessional education. They are not only engaging with students at their level, they also engage with students at graduate level as well, uh, and then learn together. Um, they're able to leave the comfort zone of their natural uh, classroom to go into a uh, community uh, internationally and actually learn from the local community. As we think about bringing uh, new individuals into the workforce, the nursing education workforce, we're frequently drawing from practice settings. And uh, it's important for us to explain to new nurse educators how it is that they can remain involved with their passion, which is practice, as nurse educators. Before I made the transition to nurse educator, I was a professional um, nurse practitioner. So my greatest fears were leaving the bedside one-on-one -on -one patient care and being able to uh, step out into nursing education. Nurse educators are passionate about caring for individuals and being able to share that with the next generation of nurse providers and nurse leaders was something that I felt uh, drawn to do. And it was really just applying those skills that I used with individual clients really to the classroom. Once I stepped out into nursing education, I actually realized that um, I was able to expand my influence, my ability to care more for more people in a primary care setting. Um, if you're an individual who enjoys challenges, if you're an individual who's an out-of-the-box thinker, if you're an individual who, um, who values creativity and innovation, we're at a point in nursing education where we need all of those aspects of leadership and uh, administrators and faculty. One of the joys that I have um, that I discovered after receiving my Doctor of Nursing Practice degree was the ability to apply all of the skills that I learned during that program. So in my role here as a nurse educator, not only do I get to educate the future nurses, but I also have an administrative role, I have a practice role, and I have a role in scholarship. So our very best faculty are those that have been grounded and remain grounded in practice settings and can bring that passion and knowledge to our students. Uh, we are looking towards the future. Um, our population is aging. We are with these more demands, uh, people are more critically ill. Who is going to take care of these people? Who is going to take care of our population if we are not going to engage young uh, nurses to come into education? I would encourage um, young nurses, young nurse leaders and advanced practice nurses to try the role of a nurse educator while also practicing as um, an advanced practice nurse. If I had a, a chance to, an opportunity actually to talk to a current nursing student, I would encourage them highly to consider uh, being a nurse educator uh, because being a nurse educator they are able actually to apply what they have learned in nursing and uh, influence other students or influence other, other nurses who are coming up. I know no other profession uh, where an individual can come in and have such a breadth of career options as nursing. It is one area that one cannot actually be bored. Uh, practicing or even working. So over the course of a career, uh, one can be in a variety of different clinical settings, one can be in a variety of different roles, practice, administration, uh, policy, and education. And I think as we look to recruit the best and the brightest into education, we're looking for individuals who have had experience in those other areas or are interested in learning more about those other areas. And in this way, uh, we will attract, I think, the best and the brightest in nursing education and have an impact on the state.